How you doing, man? Good, how are you? I'm well, what's your name? Matt, Matt Franco. Matt, what are you gonna do for us today? I'm gonna be doing a uh, card trick, doing some magic. When I first saw magic, it was on TV. I was four years old. I immediately, you know, begged my parents to, to get me a magic set. And I brought it into kindergarten for show and tell the next week. That was my first audience. One, two, three. Stephanie, which hand? Don't think too hard, I cheated. I'm just kidding. Like, yeah. My family altogether has always been really supportive. My grandma in particular, when I was little, she would just sit with me for hours watching me do tricks. I'd get halfway through and something would happen and it didn't work. And I would say, oh, I have to start all over again. And she just happily sat through that for hours and hours, for years and years and years. In fact, she still would do it today. <laughs> Hi, Grandma. <laughs> Cool. What's gonna separate you from all the others we've seen? Well, I'm doing something that you've never seen before on America's Got Talent. Or really? Anyway, I'm telling a story that I wrote about this show. At 25 years old, I'm still just as obsessed with magic as I was when I was four. I love it. I've never been in front of an audience like this before. I'm pretty nervous, but if I'm not ready now, I'm not sure if I ever will be. Ready, Matt? Let's do it. Go get him, man. Wow. Hi. Hi. How you doing? Good. Welcome to America's Got Talent. Thank you. Uh, what's your name and what are you going to be doing for us today? My name is Matt Franco and I'm going to do some magic. When did you start getting into magic? At what age? I started becoming fascinated with magic when I was four years old. Four? Yeah, I saw a magician on TV and I would record every magic show on the old VHS and I would uh, watch them over and over in slow motion to try to figure out how to do the tricks. That's how I learned. Wow. Wow, so you're self-taught? Yes. Well, I think we're excited to see it. Good luck and enjoy yourself. Thank you. Uh, I wrote a story just for you guys. It's a close-up trick. If you don't mind, I'm going to join you at the table. Yeah, yeah. Okay. come on over. <laughs> Now, please, keep in mind, what you're about to see is going to be done with a genuinely shuffled deck of cards. It's a story about season nine of America's Got Talent, with Howard Stern, our king of media, America's sweetheart, Heidi Klum, Mel B, our queen of pop, and of course, our favorite, Joker. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Nick, I haven't forgotten about you. You really are a jack of all trades. Jack of all trades. Me, I'm 25 years old, and sad as it may sound, this whole magic thing has pretty much consumed my life all the time, like 24-7. Since I was about four years old, see, people often ask, where do you see yourself in 10 years? But even just five years ago, I never guessed that I'd be here on season nine of America's Got Talent, hoping to hit the wow. jackpot in front of an amazing full house audience here at the Dolby Theater. Forget the address here, number 6801. Of course, I don't have a zero in a deck of cards, so sometimes I improvise. I never Whoa. thought I'd be here across from the great Howard Stern. Now, Howard, I gotta be honest. I know these cards, this king here doesn't really look like you. In fact, in my opinion, all of you judges look much better. One, two, in the flesh. <laughs> yup, even you, Howard. Oh, oh you my all, God. You all look great. You look great dressed to the nines, but don't get me wrong, I'm not just up here to be kissing your aces. Well, except for maybe you, Heidi. See, you do have undeniable six appeal. We all know that. But it's you, Mel B, that I've always had the hots for. You see, you were part of the Spice Girls. The only group in history to have four consecutive number one hits since the legendary Jax and Five. Yo, what's up, YouTube? Hey, welcome to the AGT page. Now click right there to subscribe or to watch more videos. Hi, guys. How are you doing, sir? I couldn't be better. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. What is your name? I am Smoothini. You are Smoothini. The ghetto Houdini. Like Houdini, but ghetto. But ghetto. Yes, sir. I, I just...
you are a magician then? Yes, sir, a bar magician to be exact. A bar magician? Well, this is a big bar here. <laughs> so have you been doing magic all your life? Is that what you've been doing as a... Um, I was a Marine. Well, thank you for your service. Welcome. Hello? And you're no longer in the Marines? No, sir. Are you doing this full time? Yes, sir. And uh, how was it going for you? It could be a lot better in about five minutes. <laughs> okay, let's see you do what you do. Am, am I allowed to go closer to you guys? You can, yes. All right, thank you very much. You're welcome. Now, the thing about bar magic as opposed to regular magic is the fact that I don't use big props. I don't, I can't afford them. <laughs> and that's Whoa. all I have to dazzle the world. Right. Now, the thing about magic that happens close to your face is that it has to be performed exquisitely. If I can pronounce that word correctly, but... <laughs> oh! Excuse me. <laughs> Just cost the card. But, honestly, I... Whoa! Oh. Just do not like card tricks because... Oh, that's amazing! But... Where are coming from? But I have a beautiful six-year-old son. And um, I want to do something to you, Miss Mel. B. Oh, wow. Well. That my little boy likes. Can I see your hand? The other side. Thank you. Oh, perfect. I'm going to take this ball, put it right about here. I want you to hold that ball real tight for me. Thank you. With that ball there and that ball there, we're going to go abracadabra. Open up your hand. Oh. Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! Let me mentally assault you two on the other hands. <laughs> Because, because I am ghetto. Whoa. Wow. Wow. He's good. Oh, he's good. That's good. Whoa. That's pretty cool. Thank you. Not my name, though. <laughs> That is the name. Whoa! Wowza. Oh! Whoa! Thank you! Thank you, please. Thank you. Woo! Smooth lady! Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We didn't know what to expect. But he brought it. Hey, you. Thanks for stopping by. You want to see more? You want to subscribe? Just click right here, and you'll see more talent from AGT. <laughs> if I was on your side of this, I'd be clicking it. He does a little dance routine. Oh, dance routine? Yep. So we did a battle. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you do? Yeah, yeah dance-ish performance. What's up, man? Hi. How you doing? Very good. Hi, Hi. what's your name? My name is Kenichi. I'm 38 years old. I'm from Tokyo, Japan. And I'll be performing dance-ish performance. A little bit of uh, robots. OK. And dance and martial arts and my Wow. Dancing is my passion. My dream is to do my full length one month show in Vegas. That's why I'm here. I'm ready to see something I've never seen before. Yes. You gonna give it to her? Yeah. Go get her, man. Have fun out there. Hi there. Look at you. Hello. What's your name? My name is Kenichi Ebina. What is your act? Um, my act is dance-ish performance. Dance-ish? Ish, yes. OK. How did you get into dance-ish kind of performing? Um, I knew only the one step called the Running Man. Right. <laughs> and uh, when I did it, people got loud. And I was like, yeah. And so I was like, oh, I feel good. All right. Good luck, have fun. Thank you. Thank you.
I loved it. The yeah. stuff that you did, I haven't seen anything like it before. You have a control over your body that is unbelievable. Thank you, thank you. Being the youngest judge on the panel, I can say that was off the chain. Thank you. Honey, you're no spring chicken. What are you talking about? Oh, I about? am. Oh. I thought your head had come off your body. It was that convincing. <laughs> We see a lot of guys who come on stage who try to do what you do. They can't do it, and you have a story to tell. Uh, you know, you were doing The Matrix there. That was the whole movie, all in 90 seconds. It was awesome. It was magnificent. I could watch you all day. Me too. Thank you. Right? Yes. How? I'm telling you, that is the best dance we have seen in Chicago. It's the best dance I've seen in a long time. Thank you. You told a great story. Yes. You were wonderful. Thank you, yes. Let's vote, guys. I'm going to start it up with a big yes. Thank you. <laughs> I like what Heidi does with her eyes when she votes. It's a yes. <laughs> now, it's a yes from me. You were thank great. You, thank you. And my vote is yes-ish. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, boys and girls of YouTube. Click below to watch more. <laughs> You're gonna love it.